Mom and my best friend are gonna help me transform into Sasuke. We recreated the whole costume, the hair, the sharing gun, the environment and even Susanna. But the problem is, we only have 24 hours. I started by creating a concept art, so everyone knew what to aim for. And I don't know if this looks good, but it's good enough for now. I did a very basic Sasuke, a cave, kind of because it's easy to create caves in 3D. And Susanna. Honestly, no idea how I'm gonna do that. But let's go. And using the drawing as reference, my mom started measuring me to create the costume using some old clothes that I had. I don't think she knows what she's doing, but neither do I, so everything is going as expected. Dracula costume, <coughs> Sasuke costume, I mean, is starting to come out. Finally, Chester was on the Susano mission, and it was starting to look cool very fast. Susano base is basically a skeleton with a horn and a very big chain. So he just used the skeleton he found online, and then it was almost done. No, 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 I did everything by myself. He's lying. At this point, I started doing the environment. The reason I love creating caves is that you just have to find a bunch of random 3D scanned rocks and put them together until it looks good. Ladies and gentlemen, a cave. Then my mom started creating the bottom part of the vampire costume. Uh, I mean, it was starting to look like Sasuke already. Good job, mom. Good enough. The 24 hours will be split in 4 days. 6 hours each day. And at the end of each day, one person will go out. Leaving the last 2 days for me to finish everything by myself. And I have no idea how I'm gonna transform into Sasuke later on. With the share again, chakra effects, Susanna with the hair. Oh, I forgot the hair. Oh my god, focus. Just I have to finish the Susanna before the day ends, so tomorrow we can start the Susanna animation. Now we have the horns, the chain, the skin, mechanic parts, ladies and gentlemen, Susanna, but grey, and with no movement. Now we only have 26 minutes before my mom will go out, and her needle just broke, and I have to stop to help her. Now she's going 100 miles per second, 110% best costume maker in the world, and we finally have the Sasuke costume. Now we just need the environment. Oh my god, the environment! I have to finish the environment with some random lights and volumetrics. Everything looks better with the volumetrics. And I think this cave is 100% done. Now I just need to save it. And this happened. It seems fake, it looks fake, but it's not. My windows just crashed. You couldn't handle the power of these added fingers. But seriously, if I don't fix it until tomorrow, it means I'll have to do the environment all over again. And we have so much more things to do. I don't have time for that, seriously. And in the next day, I know it is a little anticlimactic, but the computer started working again, I don't know why. Maybe it was just tired. Thank you computer, I love you. And we had the environment again. Let's save in another drive before something happens. Now we are good to go. Finally, let's record the scenes. I'm just gonna adjust the lights with my very professional equipment. Come on, at least I have a green screen. And then I'm gonna wear this masterpiece my mom created. And with the lighting looking cool, I just have to think. What would Sasuke do with Susanoo around him? Smile in a sexy way, of course. Super sexy and dangerous. I can hear Naruto calling my name already. This is the result. Susanoo is supposed to look like he's made from energy, so this grey color is not gonna do it for me. Chester tried some shader options, opaque with shadows, with no shadows, but we need energy, but at the same time a little transparent, just like the enemy, and with fire, and also emitting light. I know exactly what reference I'm looking for. Just imagine a jelly had a baby with a jellyfish. Done. We have the Susanna shaders. I already can feel the energy. Oh my god, Susanna, don't look at me like that. But Susanna frozen like this is not as scary as if he moves. So let's make it move. I have two options. The professional one, where I would animate every single bone in his body for every frame in the video until it looks good. That takes years to master. And we have the good enough option, where I would just capture my body movement in a VR headset and then transfer it to the Susanna body. You already know which one I picked. And this is the Susanna animation you didn't know you want it. You're welcome. And the day two. But even though I won the best looking guy in the world competition according to my mom, I'm not Sasuke's level yet. Now it's time to become sex and dangerous, just like him. I started making my facial features more like his. And that's it. Sexy. But not really dangerous yet. But I'll fix that while I talk to you about Honkai Impact 3rd with a little gift at the end. Because the Sasuke transformation wouldn't be possible without them. In the latest version, 5.3, they have a new character, Carol Peppers. She's the striker for Chikzao's anti Honkai 3rd squad. With her mechanical fist, the way she fights is totally unique and unlike anything you've ever seen in Honkai Impact. You should learn a few moves from her, Sasuke. Also, her skirt from Flimpsion. Finally, gotten her new outfit, Time Runner. I don't know about you guys. 
guys, but to me she looks amazing with these crystals. And look how beautiful she looks fighting. Maybe I should learn some moves from her for my next cosplays. And last but not least, Adult Bronya. She appears in the open world gameplay mode rather than as a character. In the post Honkai area, she looks so mature and cool, ready for anything. This I'm already good at, mature and cool. So go and download the game now to redeem the gift code for 30 crystals and 2888 asteroids and a Hersker trial card. Thank you so much Honkai for sponsoring this video, very cool. And with this I was already sexy, just needed the dangerous part of it. And some blood and scars should help with that, that's it, dangerous too. So now I'll go to sleep because tomorrow I have to make Susanna appear, Susanna sword, Susanna chakra effects, Sasuke hair, Sherry guns, Sasuke chakra effects, more effects, oh my god. Okay, just is back. Surprise! Chester needs to create a burning effect that makes Suzano appear from the ground. Then I'll use it to make it look like he's been casted by the powers of my samurai Sasuke. That's it! Suzano was slapping the camera in the end. So let's create the sword. We just used a bunch of fire elements and shaped it like a sword. Then turn everything purple and it was done. Just glue it to the Suzano's hand and wow! Incredible. Then let's start joining everything together. Put some lightning effects, some chakra effects too, and oh, oh the sharing gun. I forgot the sharing gun. Then to the sharing gun, I just find the best sharing gun option, put into the eyes, match the movement and the colors, and that's it. Now there, oh there. I shouldn't have left the hardest one to the end. Now I have to create the hair in less than one hour. I started by tracking the hair movement, then create the hair system and ability the physics, and the time is over. But if you thought that I would be satisfied with an incomplete Sasuke, you were very wrong, my friend. Click the deadline, I'm gonna finish this transformation. My name is Angelix Studios. Let's make the hair look good and sexy. Share a gun on this. Right now it's looking 110% sexy and dangerous. Now just adjust the camera animation, some facts like smoke, particles, lightning, and now three days after the deadline, enjoy the final video. <laughs> Sasano 